Pedro, uh, talk about the, the, the last one, the, you know, getting a win. I know you'd had some kind of, you know, rough uh, results, basically. So getting that win, how important was that for you? It was really good. It makes me feel really good and, you know, special fighting a guy that's such like a high caliber, like Jimmy Rivera is. Heavy hitter, um, has been fought like big names in UFC and first fight it was very close and then be able to fight in him again five years later. It was definitely something that makes me feel um, good about it. Not even because of the victory itself, of course, you know, I don't want to sound a hypocrite, but uh, that type of fighter he is, that type of fight that he brings in the table, you know, he hits super heavy. So um, it was a definitely like a good fight that we, we both was able to perform that night. Getting that victory also, you know, special after the first one that was very close. So it feels really good, you know, and the ego. Well, I was going to say, I wonder if it kind of reestablished because it's not that you weren't having great performances. It's just the results weren't coming the right way, right? So is it nice to actually get that to affirm to everybody that like, hey, I'm still a part of this division? For sure. For sure, man. You know, that's uh, uh, being an UFC for me is definitely something that I'm very grateful for, you know, for the fact that I can test myself with the best fighters out there. You know, and and that's the type of fight that I like to bring in the table and I like to bring the fire and very soon, you know, so uh, and then with Jimmy, we were able to um, we were able to to do that, you know, in the early beginning of the fight all the way into the end. So, you know, it was something was it make me feel really good. And now you're, you're matched up with a guy who's probably going to do the same kind of thing. Right. I mean, what do you think when you get paired up with with a legend? One hundred percent, you know, one hundred percent. If, uh, you know, an interview that I just did right now, they asked me, what was the best fighters that you you like it, you like to watch, you look up for? So, and he, Jose Aldo, he was one of them. Even though if you see interview me, you know, back in those days, I was saying that. So, and right now, you know, again, fighting another legend, again, fight another former champ, you know, it's something that makes me, it makes me happy about it, you know, and special fighting a guy that likes to bring the hit to you know, in the table. So, you know, um, I'm a banger, he's a banger, you know, and that's the type of fight that I like to be, you know, that's, I, I like it. I like to, I don't mind it if you're gonna hit me, you know, because I know you're in the perfect distance so I can't hit you back. Is there, I mean, you've been doing this for so long and been a high level for so long, but, but like you said, Aldo is a true legend, right? I mean, is there any chance that you get in there and just have that one moment where you're like, damn, that's Jose Aldo over there, you know? Yeah, no, uh, I thought about that when I fought Frankie Edgar, you know, and that was something that I was want to chase him. You guys all saw I was chasing him all five rounds. You know, I want to him putting him to sleep. I was probably wanted to, I, I probably was trying too hard to do that, you know, and fighting veterans like that, you know, experience the guys like that, you need to, to do the right thing at the right moment, you know. And, um, and Jose Aldo is a very experienced fighter, you know, has been fought the best fighters out there 100%. Changing right now to the new division, you know, a different challenge right there. And, and this is the different whole scenario too, you know, Bantamway fighters and especially the Bantamway division right now, I think that's the, one of the hottest spot to be in UFC right now. We see like big names, we see big fights, you know, we see the top 10 in that division itself is just a bunch of killers. And for me, it makes me happy to be one of them. Last thing for me, that I was gonna kind of ask you that. I mean, it's so, the division is so deep right now, right? But you, we, you beat a former champion, you beat a legend. I imagine it'll probably be a pretty exciting fight if you, you know, do you think about where that puts you? I mean, what do you think you deserve? Are you are you chasing the title and chasing that opportunity, or you just sit back? Where where, where do you go from here? You know, uh, definitely one hundred percent be the world champions. You know, it's my dream. You know, but uh, also I cannot let that take my peace on a daily basis. You know, especially a lot of good fighters right there in front of me. Uh, and the interest part, there's a lot of fighters is ahead of me in the rank. That's the fighter, that guys that I beat before. You know. Uh, not just in a close match, you know, you know, some of them I put them out, some of them I was able to submit them. So, uh, but that's okay. You know, that's okay. It's something that I cannot control. What I can control is go there and do my best and my time will, will come. When you get a fight contract and the name says someone like Jose Aldo, does it inspire you more? Does it make you more excited to get to fight night? To be honest with you, the same way that I train for every single fight, 
you know, that's the same way that I did it for this one, you know. Uh, of course, we want to fight some fighters out there because the background that those fighters have or also that type of fighter that the person is, you know, and fighting a guy like Jose Aldo that likes to bring the hit, you know, I'm the guy that likes to bring the hit. I know he, we're not gonna avoid to fight each other. We're gonna be exchanging, you know, it's gonna be a firework. So it's definitely, and put me in the position, I won't say, oh, uh, some fights, some fighters, I, tra I train different than the others. No, because in UFC, we know that, you know, a bunch of killers, right? right there. So I train for every single fight that I'm fighting for the world championship. So nothing's changed. So when we just say out the two, you know, nothing changed. I'm definitely determined to go that and get a finish Saturday night. Thank you.